Homer Starlet and Songbird of Hong Kong cinema in the 1950s, Kume's paintings are expressive as her vocals and acting. Widely known as The Little Lark, the on-screen sweetheart stepped away from the limelight in the 1970s and has since soared to greater heights as an ink painter. Born as Gu Jiami into a scholarly family in Guangzhou in 1929, Gu's grandfather, Gu Zhinong, was well-versed in calligraphy. Her father, Gu Danming, was an amateur traditional painter who was particularly skilled in art appraisal. Ku Mei expressed interest in art since young. After high school, Ku and her younger brother, Gu Jiahui, were offered places in Guangzhou Art College, but they were forced to pass up the opportunity due to costly tuition fees. She only picked up paintbrushes again after quitting stardom nearly two decades later. Ku first began her training in painting with Ling Nan School Style Flowers and Birds under Zhao Shaoang in 1963, then Xie Yi Landscape under Hu Nianzu and Ou Hao Nian in 1969, and later learning theory and philosophy of New Ink under Hong Kong New Ink Movement pioneer Liu Shou Kun in 1974. Under the tutelage of these renowned artists, each with their own niche, Kume absorbed the strengths and combined her unique interpretation, eventually establishing a distinctive style of her own. Keeping in line with the tradition of her artistic family, Ku is particularly fond of ink as a medium. The fluidity of ink is especially intriguing to Ku. She realized that the ratio of ink and water, the layers of washes, the mixing of pigments when combined with the splatters and sweepings powerfully convey her sentiments. She found her voice through the paintbrushes. In 1971, Ku had her first solo exhibition in Taipei. She has since held over 28 solo exhibitions across the globe. Ku's early works received high praises from Asia's most respected 20th century masters, Zhang Daqian and Zhao Wuqi. Chang wrote poems on her paintings to complement and endorse her works, while Zhao sought to collect Ku's works by exchanging his paintings with hers. Over the years, Zhao and Ku often discussed their artistic views through letters. Today, Ku's works are seen in auctions and are collected by leading institutions and museums, as well as privately. Early works of Ku are characterized by hills and valleys shrouded by clouds and fogs while she lived in Hong Kong, a concrete jungle she deemed lacking magnificent natural wonders and features. The artist, hence, lets her imagination run wild, creating sceneries based on what she has envisaged. Freed from the rigidities and constraints of real-world realism, Ku conjured up panoramic imageries mostly realized with clouds and mist. Her fantastic, introspective play on light and shades made her a non-conformist who creates whimsical realms that evoke an otherworldly charm. In 1984, Ku moved to Canada from Hong Kong. This marked a significant refinement of her technique along her artistic journey. Majestic, halo-white mountains reveal their pristine snow cloaks as gleams of sunshine permeate through the dissipating clouds. Waterfalls with water cascading down the rocks, pounding against each other, eventually tumbling into the river altogether. These breathtaking scenes combined with the marvelous change of seasons quickly take root in Ku's practice. Ku's broad, lyrical brushwork accentuates the dynamic movements of flowing waters and feathery clouds. Set against an expansive, softened backdrop, Ku's later works are spectacularly dreamlike and enigmatic. One can observe that Ku adopts a distinctive palette, comprising of mostly teal and amber, which often blends to form a purple hue. The artist once mentioned she is especially fond of purple because it is a mixture of blue and red, the colour of dawn and dusk. More importantly, a representation of ups and downs in life. As she eloquently employs her splashed ink and broken ink techniques, 
drawing upon ancient Chinese ink traditions and stunning Western outdoor wonders, Ku's paintings exude a remarkable sense of etherealness and tranquility.